What's happening guys? We're back and we're continuing on the cage today. Alright, so last week we got our hoops bent up, up at Trigger. Uh, so now we need to actually, you know, cope in all the straight pieces, cut all our hoops down to size, and get the, the actual cage tacked together. So, I think our first step is going to be, we need to weld in a, uh, a harness bar in that rear hoop. It's going to do two things for us. One, it's going to let us attach our, our uh, five point harnesses for our seats. And it's also going to, to stabilize. We got a pretty, pretty sharp bend in the main hoop where it kind of comes all the way out to the sides. And if we didn't put a, a cross brace in between those two bends, if we were ever to flip this thing over, it would just kind of crumple right at that point. So we're going to take and connect those two bends with a harness bar. So let's grab the main hoop. We'll grab a, uh, we'll grab the bandsaw, cut the tails off of it, make it a little bit more manageable and then measure it up for a harness bar. Unfortunately, I haven't invested in a tubing notch yet, so this is taking a little longer than I wanted it to, but uh, the die grinder with a carbide burr on it is actually working pretty good to do the fish mouse on this. So I got this end done. Now unfortunately, I have to do this end, and this end is going to be harder because I have to make it not only the right contour, but I have to make it fit in between the, those two bends, and it's got to be just the right length and it's got to sit level. So I'm going to spend a little bit of extra time on this one, um, trying to get it perfect. So I'll trace it out and cut it and cross our fingers. got everything fish mouth and kind of fitting up good um, we've measured off of the uh, the top of that main hoop down 13 inches on both sides so our harness bar should be parallel with the top um, we're gonna tack it in I cleaned everything up we're gonna tack it in I put it on the main bench here because I'm gonna try to there's a little bit of a twist in that main hoop when we were bending it we didn't get everything perfect so that if you look on the ends the, the legs are kind of a little bit uh, a little bit twisted. So I'm gonna clamp it down to the, uh, the table when we tack it up and hopefully try to get as much of that twist out of it as we can while it's still flexible before we kind of fully weld it. So I'm gonna clamp this down, fire up the welder, we'll throw a couple of light tacks on it and then, uh, yeah, and then we got a harness bar. So that's all tacked up. Um, the next step, we need to cut the tails off of this so that they can mount onto those, uh, those pads that are on the chassis. Now, we don't really have a set height for our roll bar, but we do have a set distance between those two pads. It's exactly almost 44 and a quarter. 
So what we're gonna do is just, because our, our hoop is, the tails on it are at such an angle, all we gotta do is cut these off at the right height so that they're 44 and a quarter between them. So I set up a, a stop block on my bench and all I'm gonna do is move that hoop up until uh, I, I've got a parallel line that's 44 and a quarter edge to edge and then that'll be kind of how high we gotta cut them off. So we'll measure it out, adjust it, do that a couple times until we find out where we need to be and then we can mark it and cut it. So we got our tacked up, uh, same thing, we just stuck like four tacks on it, on each post. Um, I don't wanna do anything more aggressive until we have everything tacked up, because it has the, the tendency to move a lot. So, we got that tacked up, uh, we got a slight forward lean to our main hoop, which we kinda designed it that way, it also kinda just ended up lucky. Um, I like it, I think it's uh, a little bit reminiscent of the caterums that we're trying to copy. Um, most of the guys that build low cost just have a straight up and down main hoop and the caterums have a, have a forward leaning main hoop. So I like it. Uh, the next step is going to be the front hoop, but I ran out of time tonight. So I'm going to call her quits today and catch up with you guys tomorrow.